As we know, LDB LSP is established based on IGP conversions. If PE1 wants to get to PE2, IGP will select the best path from PE1 to PE2 based on the best cost or the lower cost if the cost of the path via P1 is better than the cost of the path via P2 the path via P1 will be selected as the best path then the MPLS LDB LSP path will be established over P1 what if there is a failure over the selected path if we encountered any failure on the link between PE1 to P1 or the link between P1 to PE2 or device P1 went down entirely the LDB LSP path via P1 will not be available so the services traffic from customer CE1 to customer CE3 will be disrupted same of course for the customer traffic from CE2 to CE4 that will make the services traffic to be impacted the IGB protocol needs to reconverge to select another path which will be via P2 now the path from PE1 to PE2 will be via P2 and then LDB LSP path can be available again so the service traffic can be restored this takes time the restoration time can be a significant impact to customer services for mobile operator networks where network availability and reliability are important factors we have to enhance the network availability and we have to minimize the restoration time LDB O2 FRR can be used to minimize the restoration time and enhance the network availability and reliability so that services traffic can be quickly switched over from the main to backup LDB LSP path if the main LDB LSP path is facing failures to summarize what we said the issue without protection if main link fails IGB converges to select a backup link after IGB convergence LDB LSP is established over the backup link and during this process services traffic is interrupted because there is no available LDB LSP path for sensitive MPLS services like in mobile operator networks services traffic like the voice and video traffic disturbance is not accepted we have to minimize the restoration time as much as we can LDB O2 fast reroute or FRR can be configured to quickly trigger services traffic switch over to backup link to minimize services impact LDB O2 FRR it uses liberal label retention mode we can recall the label retention mode to remember it from Huawei MPLS services volume 1 we said that the liberal label retention mode is that the LSR can receive label mapping from all of its LDB peers whether the peer is the next hop address or not even the peer was preferred in the IGP selection or not so that it can keep or retain all label mapping and get them ready in case the main LSP path went down back again to our slides in Huawei MPLS services volume 2 course now the LSR can associate the backup forwarding entry based on using the liberal label retention mode 
with the primary LSP so that it can quickly be used if there is a failure in the primary LSP. Now the LSR can keep both LSPs, the main and backup. With using LDP Auto FRR services traffic switch over is done within 50 milliseconds which will be a very good restoration time especially for sensitive services traffic we can have more understanding about ldb Udo frr in this lab we have pe1 wants to get to pe2 at pe1 we can check the routing table entry for PE2, which is 3.3.3.3. We have one routing entry with cost 2, and it's via Giga Ethernet 000, which is the path via P1. I have changed the cost of interface 001 from its default cost, which was 1, to be 2. So that second path of P2 cannot be used as best path in the IGB. We can check the configuration of interface Giga Ethernet 001. It has cost 2. From interface 001 has a cost of 2. Plus the default cost is 1. So the total cost here is 3. The upper link from PE1 to P1 to PE2 has a cost of 2 so the best path here from PE1 to P1 to PE2 now let's check the LDB LSP path display MPLS LSP we can find that the network 3.3.3.3 slash 32 which is the loopback address of PE2 has this mapping label received from P1 at interface Giga Ethernet 000 is 1031 and the label generated locally at PE1 for this network or this FEC forwarding equivalence class is 1033. Now we have only one LSP path via P1. To enable LDB UDU FRR, we configure the FRR for the IGB itself. Once we enabled the IGB with FRR, LDB UDU FRR feature will be enabled consequently. System view to go to the system view mode for configuration. We have here the IGB protocol is OSPF. Inside the OSPF view, add command FRR. And inside FRR, we add command loop free alternate. Now we have enabled FRR for current IGB, which is OSPF. Let's check again LDB LSP table. Now we can see that the network 3.3.3.3 slash 32, which is PE2, has a main route which is 000, zero, zero and a backup route marked with LDB FRR via 001. We have successfully enabled LDB O2 FRR at PE1. If there is any failure at the main path via 000, zero, zero, the backup LSP path via 001 can be used immediately. To quickly restore services traffic. Thank you for viewing this video. I hope it can add a good value to you.